Oh my goodness. This looks and smells amazing. All right, first bite. Let's see what you got there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> mm. Wow, it smells amazing in here. 132 years we are running as a hotel. Queen Elizabeth, she visited the Grand Hotel in 1956. And these are also pure ivory. And we are controlling temperature in between 28 to 30. That's the international standard. So we have a concept called the Instagram butler to take the best picture for you. Look how pretty this is out here, guys. We were camping last night and now we're doing the opposite, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you ready for the luxurious evening? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, got a hot towel here. Wow, look at the steam. Thank you. May goodness come to everybody, right? Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Wow, that is good stuff. You guys know from watching the channel, I don't often do luxury stays. I'm normally sleeping around buses or in small hotels or even on the side of the road in the middle of Iraq. So this is a very special experience for me. And I'm going to take you guys along on the whole journey of this luxurious experience at this colonial hotel. It's going to be amazing. Look at the landscaping and everything. Beautiful. Okay guys, so we've arrived to the hotel and now it is time for high tea. Obviously there's a lot of colonial history here. This was the former colonial governor's house and now it's a hotel. It has been for over a hundred years. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, it smells amazing. Milk tea, one of my favorite things. Here is the rest of the high tea, the real star of the show. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. What a display. This looks and smells amazing. Thank you. This is unbelievable. I'm here for the celebration high tea. We've got desserts, we've got sandwiches, we've got like a club sandwich here, some rolls and croissants. We've got the same thing over there. And of course, some British biscuits. What is scones? Scones, right? Are they scones? Yeah. I think so. This is incredible. The staff here is already absolutely incredible. It's been a very, very warm welcome. And now it's time to give it all a try. So let's enjoy Mallory now. You can go ahead. <laughs> all right, first bite. Let's see what you got there. Some sort of a croissant. See if there's any filling or if it's just plain. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's something. I don't know what it is. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It has like onion maybe. Onion, onion, onion jam or something. Yeah. Mm. I'm a very happy camper. Pradeep, we need your help here, man. <laughs> Finish this up. Yes. <laughs> I know you're the right guy to call. <laughs> Cham, are you slowing down over there? I'm done, I'm done. Oh, come on. You're done. <laughs> we still got all these scones. Yeah, how did you open it so well? Just be gentle. Use your like, fingers a little bit. Okay. There it goes. All right. We've got, what, did they, what did they call it? I think it's clotted cream. Clotted cream? Are you sure it's not whipped butter? That's basically the same. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's a little sweeter than mm. the other. Oh, it's, yeah. That's much sweeter. It's almost like icing. The jam is arguably even better. Really? All right. Let's try with some strawberry jam. Some nice strawberry jam. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I almost just had a Mark Wiens moment there. If you guys have seen him, you know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you have to watch Migrationology on YouTube. I wonder if this thing on top is edible. I have to assume it is. Yes. Cheers! Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. Oh, wow. It's like a strawberry cake, maybe? Or like the... Maybe cherry? I don't yeah, know. No. It's good. It's amazing. Wow. Caramelized toffee or something on top with some chocolate drizzle. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> and a little white chocolate crown. Incredible. All right, now we've got this. Mallory thinks it's a lemon meringue. I think it probably is. Look at that. It's toasted on top. The attention to detail here. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, we have finished our high tea and now we're going to check out our rooms. Let's go see the lobby. Here we go. We're entering in here. 
This is the entryway, and apparently this is totally original all the way back from the governor's residence. All right, and here is the lobby. There are apparently several restaurants here. There's an Indian restaurant, a Thai restaurant, and I think a couple more. Thank you, sir. Here is the front desk. Beautiful, very grand, guys. A lot of old photos on the walls showing the area and the building from back in the day. Almost 200 years old. All right, guys, here it is. First look. Wow, it smells amazing in here. So this is totally colonial style. Very, very clean, very regal. And look at this. We've got some macaroons, I think they're called. The French cookies or pastries. Even got a little fireplace. I love these lights. Wow, look at that. Looks very, uh... Like it could be original or something. So anyway guys, that's the room. Stick around though because we've got a lot more of the hotel to see. We've got the pool, we've got the billiards room, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, it is dinner time. We're very excited. Yeah. And there's live music happening right now. Which is pretty awesome. So anyway, this buffet looks amazing. Very grand. Let's go take a look at it. After you, Miller. Lead the way, please. Looks like we've got a salad bar, avocado juice, papaya juice, a soup station. Now here are desserts. We're not ready for that yet. Rice, oh, looks like they can make fried rice. Wow, all sorts of meat. Wow, look at it, coming out fresh. Here's a whole lot of bread. Okay, and now here we've got the curries. It smells amazing. So this is our maybe Sri Lankan section. And then here we've got some more stations. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. What is this? Uh, Japanese food, Okinomiyaki. Oh, ah, Japanese, Japanese food. food. Yes. Oh, very cool. Thank you, sir. Cheers, Mel. All right, guys, we have been eating well in Sri Lanka, and it continues here. They have cuisines from like all over the world. You saw the Japanese, they have Mongolian fried rice that I think Mallory is, is eating. If you've seen my Mongolia series, you know that I actually had a major issue with fried rice in Mongolia, so I'm skipping that. But I am having some noodles, and some dal, and some pork, some fish. This looks really good, we're gonna dig in. After. Alrighty guys, it is time to go to sleep. I am super tired. It's been a crazy crazy but amazing week. Stick around though because we've got a lot more to show you from the Grand Hotel tomorrow. Alright, good night. See you tomorrow. Hello everybody. Good morning. It is the next morning and we are outside. It is an absolutely beautiful day here at the Grand Hotel. It's breakfast time. Morning. How are you? Good morning. morning. All right, I see some string hoppers already on, on some plates. All right, looks like we've got a lot of different stations here. Good morning. Here we've got waffles and pancakes. Okay, this is incredible. We'll see you outside. All right, guys, we're back for one second because there are five different kind of honeys here, and I just think that's pretty cool. Now I'll see you outside. All right, guys, we are back at our table. Here's what I've got. A little bit of East meets West. Sri Lankan and some Indian things here. Actually, a little breakfast burrito. This, which I suspect may be filled with something, maybe not. And then we've got some waffles with chocolate sauce, because why not? Thank you. Oh my goodness, I am very excited to see that. All right guys, that breakfast was amazing. I'm totally stuffed, and the cappuccino was amazing too. Now we're gonna head off on a tour of the hotel property because it is super historical, and there's a lot to see here, so let's go. Okay. Uh, that is Sir Edward Bunn. He was the Sri Lanka's fifth governor. Okay. Um, and um, his resident converted as a hotel. So he came uh -huh. to Sri Lanka in 1824 and he built this place in 1827. For 66 years it was a private resident. Then uh, in uh, 1891, the Noradi Hotel companies took over the place and they have converted as a hotel. So from there to now, 132 years, we are running as a hotel. And this is a picture of uh, the hotel staff uh, in uh, 1968. Wow. And this person 
he's still working with us. No uh, way. Yes, he's working with us for 52 years. Oh my goodness. And he's the grand historian. I think he's not there today. So um, he does all the history tour because he knows all the stories. And <laughs> <laughs> and wow, this, this is, is beautiful. The lounge, and this flooring and the ceiling also very old. Wow. Yes, beautiful. What is it called? Piano lounge. The piano lounge, yes. okay. The Queen's Corridor, all right. <laughs> Actually, we have Sri Lankan and foreign celebrities who stayed and visited the Grand Hotel. Queen Elizabeth, uh, the late queen, yes. she visited the Grand Hotel in uh, 1956. Oh, wow. Yes. Emperor Hirohito. Yes, this is the uh, emperor during World War II. Tito. Tito. You, Yugoslavia. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And uh, that's the oh, There he is, Nixon. Yeah, yes. The infamous president. Right. Okay. Now we are entering to the oldest part of the hotel. Okay. So this is Sir Edward Barnes original bar. Wow. So this was built in 1830 and that bottle rack, the, uh, the counter and these chairs, ceiling, the fireplace, everything from the first uh, building. Really? We haven't changed anything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cool. You can feel the history. And these billiard uh, tables are the oldest billiard tables in Sri Lanka. Wow. And these are made in 1830. And these scoring <laughs> boards also came with uh, this table. You can see these here. Yeah. Made in uh, London, established 1830. 1830. And, and these are pure ivory. Wow. Ivory, wow. And still they are using these uh, scoring boards. We can go up to uh, 100 points. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's so cool. Yes, and we have two billiard markers who are working with us more than 35 years. So without them, we are not allowing anyone to come here because this is like a national treasure. And these are also pure ivory. Oh my and goodness. in Sri Lanka, we are the only hotel, I think we are the only place here, having this uh, kind of a set. And kids, this is uh, Sir Thomas Lipton. Ah, uh, Lipton Tea. Lipton Tea, yes. yeah. Of course. He was a regular visitor at the, the Grand Hotel. And back in days, uh, the Grand Hotel used to use Lipton Tea. But uh, now it's more like an international brand, Lipton. Uh -huh. Now we're using Dilma Tea. Oh, look at this. Carrie Fisher was here yes. too. Oh my gosh, Yuri Geiger and First Man in Space from Soviet Union. Wow, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. The Earl Mountbatten of Burma, Viceroy of India. Man. The history here. Here's Prince Philip, the late Prince Philip. To know that these people were here in the same place is unbelievable. This is one of the restaurants. This is 24 hours open. 24 and hours? Yes. So this is called the Magnolia. This is an international a la carte menu restaurant. Let's see here, guys. Open kitchen. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning to you. How are you? It's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Just taking a look. Right. It's amazing. What are you cooking? Uh, just preparing. Preparing? For lunch, yes. For lunch. Very good. <laughs> wow. Looks like a serious operation back here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Oh. Look at all these awards, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, continuing on. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by all your yes. awards. <laughs> okay. So this is a place uh, Queen Elizabeth had her high tea. Really? Yes. But uh, we have a small picture, uh, like a drawing of a uh, family. Uh -huh. To represent the, that uh, incident. This is the tea lounge. Good morning. Uh, this is sponsored by Dilma Tea. We have 36 uh, flavors of tea and wood fired pizza, grill, and we do offer shisha also here after 7 o'clock. So, uh, this is the mindfulness studio. Yesterday you came here. Yes. And, uh, it was amazing. In the morning time, as I said, it's a different color, different ambience. So bright. Yes, so bright. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yes. I'm gonna have to use this instead of last night. It's uh, so well lit. Look at that, you've got the skylight directly coming into the pool area. Around Beautiful. Three to four o'clock, it's a different atmosphere. It's like orange and purple because of the sunset. And, oh, yes. Amazing, uh, it's beautiful. And, uh, this is uh, a temperature control swimming pool and we are controlling temperature in between 28 to 30. That's the international standard. This is our spa. 
Hello. 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 Nice to see you again. Good morning. <laughs> And where are your therapists coming from? They are from Indonesia, Bali. All from Bali. Yes. Ah, very good. Normally, uh, the, the high occupancy day, uh, we are playing uh, Indian flute and tambura. That is like music therapy. We are called as music therapy. The guests can relax and listen to the music. Mm -hmm. It's really nice and relaxing. Yes. So nice. Yes. Terima kasih. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. You too. Alright, here's the gym. This is the gym. And we have oh. a gym instructor also. He will give you a, a, a routine or a diet plan and everything. So we have a concept called the Instagram Butler. So that is uh, to take the best picture for you. Because uh, as an example, if a couple goes on a trip, the husband will take wife's picture, yeah. wife will take husband's picture. But at the end of the day, uh, the couple picture will be a selfie or a, like uh, you are keeping the timer and all, but sure. you don't. You, you don't know the, what is the best, uh, the lighting, what is the best angle. But our staff members, we have few uh, called Instagram butlers. They know what are the best angles and what are the best shots. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is the best time to take the That's picture? That's so cool. And we have 15 Instagram hotspots, so you can come and meet our uh, Instagram butlers and. Uh, they will take you around the hotel and they will get you the best 15 pictures at the Grand. <laughs> so uh, that oh is my one goodness. of the uh, trending thing at the Grand. <laughs> because most of the youngsters, they are into Instagram so yep, much. Yep, yep. So uh, <laughs> they want the best picture. So it's a new concept. So, uh, <laughs> that is so cool. Instagram butlers. That is truly unique. That's the first time I've heard of that. That is a great idea though, really. Because it, it's so true. People always want to get these pictures, but it's hard to accomplish. Look how pretty this is out here, guys. Got the flowers, the gateways, the old English style building. Oh my goodness. This just keeps going on and on. It's amazing. So this is the, uh, the uh, garden nursery mm -hmm. that I said uh, the vegan and vegetarian restaurant so ah. we have we are getting a lot of youngsters who are into veganism mm. and vegetarian like they love being uh, vegan and <laughs> also, uh, it's like another concept so we have a special area this area we only serve vegan and vegetarian what a setting for a vegan uh, <laughs> meal surrounded by a Greenery. <laughs> I love it. You guys have thought of everything. Yes. <laughs> Around the hotel, when you open the windows, you can see only gardens. And in lower area, also the season is uh, month of April. Okay. The blooming season. So uh, we have garden competitions like it's called April Blooms. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, as I said, uh, if there's a uh, hundred devos, we are winning ninety-nine devos. <laughs> Amazing. Good so morning. This is our garden here. Actually, we are promoting destination wedding mm -hmm. uh, because uh, this would be stunning. For in the uh, newer area, yeah. it's uh, best to have like the best place to have outdoor weddings. Look at this! Not a bad venue for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna. Nice meeting you. Great to meet you. It was an so amazing no experience. Yeah, hope to see you again. Absolutely, Definitely. we'll be back. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that look at one of the best hotels in Sri Lanka, the Grand Hotel here in Nuwara Alia. It was an incredible experience. I want to give a huge thank you to the staff at the Grand Hotel for making it such an amazing time for us. I would highly, highly recommend if you guys come to Sri Lanka that you check out the Grand Hotel. I'll put the link to the hotel in the description below. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. It's also the end of my time with the Sri Lankan Tourism Board. So I want to give a huge thank you to Cham and Pradeep, our two guides, for making this an incredible experience. Thank you to Sri Lanka Tourism Board for having us. But my visit to Sri Lanka does not end here. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming from Sri Lanka. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.